this next example, we are going to discuss a quadratic application involving cost, and we will solve by using the quadratic formula. The total cost C of producing X total cool coolers is modeled by the equation C equals 0.005 X squared minus 0.3 X plus 17. How many coolers are produced when the cost is $19? Round to the nearest whole number. Notice here they gave us the cost and they're asking about how many coolers. Well, the variable that represents the number of coolers is x, and the variable that represents the cost is c. So we will be replacing c in this equation with 19 and then solve. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's go ahead and rewrite the equation. C equals 0 0.005 x squared minus 0.3x plus 17. Since they're giving us the cost of $19, I'm going to go ahead and replace the left side with 19 and set it equal to 0 0.005 x squared minus 0.3x plus 17. Notice the term x squared. Right away we see the term with x squared in it implies that this is a quadratic equation. And we will solve, in this case, by using the quadratic formula. And when we solve quadratic equations, we have to get 0 on one side of the equation. So let's go ahead and subtract 19 from each side. And we get 0 on the left equal to 0 0.005 x squared minus 0.3x minus 2. Here, if I write a general quadratic equation underneath so we can see the coefficients a little better, lining them up, we can see that A is going to be 0 0.005, B will be negative 0.3, and C will be equal to negative 2. Let's go ahead and recall the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now that we have all our coefficients assigned, we recall the quadratic formula. Let's go ahead and plug and chug. We get x equals, and I encourage you to be very careful with the negatives. So negative b would be negative negative 0.3 plus or minus the square root of b squared so negative 0.3 squared minus 4 times a, which is 0 0.005, times c, which is negative 2, divided by 2 times a, which is 2 times 0 0.005. Great. Um, notice here, at this point, we can see that we have two problems. We have the plus and a minus. So we have two answers, right? We have negative, negative 0.3 minus square root of negative 0.3 squared minus 4 times 0 0.005 times negative 2. So we're all divided by 2 times our a, which is 0 0.005. So we're going to go ahead and you can either do some arithmetic or 
go to your calculator and I went ahead and put it in for the plus and I got a value of 66.0555 dot 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 however if we go back to the original problem it says specifically to round to the nearest whole number going back to our calculator we can see that the nearest whole number would be 66 since the tenths place here is 0. So we have here x equals approximately 66 or approximately, and let's go ahead and put in the subtraction sign. We very well could get two solutions. So I'm going to go ahead and use my calculator and move the cursor up and highlight my original statement. And I'm going to move the cursor all the way to the left till I reach that plus sign because it's identical except with a minus in between and then enter. Rounding to the nearest whole number again, I get negative 6. However, when we look at negative 6 and the original problem, we notice that x is the number of totally cool coolers. We certainly can't have negative 6 totally cool coolers. That doesn't make sense. So we have to omit this solution and keep the positive one. And we can say something like, therefore, when the cost is $19, 66 coolers, are produced.